Indian Muslim cop suspended for keeping a beard. In Uttar Pradesh, India, um, a Muslim policeman of Uttar Pradesh has been suspended for violating dress code norms by keeping a beard without a superior's permission. But the officer, um, in Instar Ali, claims that his submission for permission has been pending with the authorities since November of 2019, and that the beard was never a problem in his previous 25 years of service. The police dress code manuals state that apart from those belonging to the Sikh community, other police personnel cannot keep a beard without permission. The uh, Bagpat police released a statement saying Instar Ali was re earlier served with a notice for not following uniform protocol and trimming a beard. Despite this, Ali continued to flout dress code norms without any permission from the concerned authorities, end quote. The print India reached out to his superiors to ask why Ali's plea was pending, but were informed that they were not available for comment. I mean, look at this epic beard. What? Why would you have... Look at this. Look at the colors. Is it, oh, hen is it hennad? Did he henna it? It looks like he henna his beard, huh? With the red... Or oh. I don't know, but yeah, it's pretty epic. But it looks like it's henna, though. But anyways. Hmm. So, so the understanding is that this is actually, actually because he's a Muslim. Is that the understanding? But they're just using his beard as an excuse. Is that the accusation here? Uh, basically, I mean, this is Uttar Pradesh. Like, it's... Uh... Not very friendly to Muslims. That would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, but are we gonna? Yeah. I mean, it does seem like it. We could be proven wrong. Let's always, guys. Mm -hmm. Always be skeptical. Always be skeptical. Even if it seems like, hey, this is likely like we're we're anti anti-Muslim bigotry, we're anti-Hindu for nationalism, we're anti-whatever uh, crap Uttar Pradesh seems to be following as a, as a value system. Um, we're, you know, and we love, we love to check and take giant dumps on <laughs> um, Hindu for bigotry. And we love, we enjoy that. We do that as our, just for the entertainment value of it. So, but, but don't let the enjoyment out of calling out and do it for bigotry. Um, blind, you know, take away your skepticism. Always be like, maybe it was something else. Maybe this guy is a douche. I don't know. Maybe he's like, he, people keep telling him that this is how you're supposed to behave. This is like we do. This is because now he's not a Muslim, and he, there's a small degree, not very high, given Occam's razor suggests that you no, know, they have a problem because he's a Muslim. Okay, uh, but always leave some degree of skepticism. We got a major super chat. Jesus Christ, we got a twenty dollar super chat. Thank you so much, D. Um, Susanna, you want to read this? Sure. D. Bordeaux is saying, "Nope, I said that wrong. Never mind. I take it back." <laughs> French. <laughs> Anyways, D. Drifka. Drif R comes after. Yeah. It looks like D. Bodro. Wow. Like it's B U O U D R. You said Bor. Yep. B O R. Anyways, she said that um, I joined American Atheists at 18 or 19 and I'm now 49. I found Freedom from Religion Foundation, CFI, along the way, but you guys are international and oh so helpful. Thank you for all you do. Aww. Things are getting better. And then a heart. Aww. Thank you, Dee. That Thank means you, a lot Dee. to us. That's, so, that's a huge super chat. Thank you so much, Dee. Aww. Um, and was, sorry yeah. for butchering your name. I'm going to blame my dyslexia. Yeah, I'm going sure to put it on the dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, for those who are not aware, Uttar Pradesh is um, basically, like, people call it, like, the mini Hindu Rashtra, um, meaning, like, this is kind of an example of how India could become if the BJP party um, continues to gain more and more power. Um, like, 
technically this officer was given notice about his violation. He still didn't follow it. So, you know, he's culpable in that regard. Um, however, he says that he tried to go through the proper process. He wasn't allowed to continue the proper process and was let go without getting an answer regarding his plea for permission. So, but generally, I mean, granted, we have a very specific community in India. They tend to not trust the upper Uttar Pradesh police under any circumstances. Um, but it's, it's, it seems so fishy that he had this for 25 years without the proper permission. And now it's a problem when Hindutva ideology is accelerating specifically in that state. Um, and also I thought it was so weird that Sikhs get religious privilege in this regard. Right. Off top. Yeah. Why did the Sikhs? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that too. I was going to say that too. Yeah. Yeah. Why did the Sikhs get to keep their beards, but not the Muslims? They should all go if, if they're being consistent. Right. Um, and again, if, if here's the thing, if the story, here's how I would be like, this is not anti-Muslim bigotry. If the story was, um, he didn't have a beard. He's growing a beard. He's saying it's because he's a Muslim. And we're like, right away, right after, like, yeah, you can't do that. Sorry. I would be like, good job. This is, anti you know, this is not anti-Muslim bigotry. Obviously not. This is fighting against Muslim privilege, right? You shouldn't let people's religious, um, you know, re excuses make them not follow the rules. You should come down on that part, right? And... While you're at it, make sure the Sikhs, you apply the same rules to the Sikhs, right? Because, yeah, he's a Muslim. He shouldn't be able to grow a beard because he's, just because he's a Muslim. Uh, so that the same thing applies to the Sikhs. If that was the story, I would be supporting this police department's decision. But it seems like for 25 years, they weren't applying this rule. And all of a sudden, they're like, yeah, let's get rid of the Muslim uh, officers here. And they're like, yeah, it's your beard. Um, by the way, we're doing this to you, but not to the Sikhs. They're like, eh, there's something else going on here. There's something else going on here, okay? So I'm like, I'm not being a hypocrite by having a different standard because I'm, oh, Armin is so anti Hindu, such an anti Hindu bigot. He's saying like people shouldn't have religious privileges, but now he's saying there's this anti Muslim bigotry uh, that this guy doesn't keep, get to keep his beard. No, I'm, I'm just saying that your intentions are something else. I'm, you're not like, oh, yeah, no, we are like so secular and we don't care about religious privilege, and that's why we're like, getting rid of this guy because he's not following the rule. That doesn't seem to be your intention. That's all I'm saying. But um, let me highlight this. Anything in the comment? Oh, let me actually highlight this one. Harsh is saying, Sikhs get the privilege because it says their holy book to never cut hair. Uh, others have to ask for and be granted the permission first. I know this is dumb. Yeah, I mean, why doesn't the Muslim get the same privileges as the Sikhs? It's almost as if you guys just don't like Muslims. Um, but hmm. um, hmm, almost very suspicious. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe we're wrong. But just susp just suspicious. Uh, they were saying, did he know the rules before he joined the force? Knowing that, uh, did he sign an employment contract agreeing to abide by the employer standards? I'm not defending the rule itself. Just wondering who has the law on their side. Uh, morally, is it okay or um, is it okay or obey? I don't know or not okay. Uh, to obey a rule you believe is racist. No, oh my God, it's not racism. Should should you risk your income to take stands that may cause your job? I think Deborah doesn't know the details of the story. Okay, because even if it's, we could say like what the gov what the police department did was legal, but we can also suspect that its intentions were different than what they pretend it to be okay so this is not a bad yeah Rivka one way that you could investigate something like this if you were trying to figure out you know where was this going is if there were other religious groups or who also were fired for having a beard that weren't Sikhs now I'm not saying the Sikh law is fair but that's the law they don't have to ask for permission everyone else does and if you found that like Muslims and Christians and you know People don't believe this, but there's Jews that live in India too. Jews or Baha'is or anybody else was fired for having a beard. Then 
you could say, okay, maybe they're not. But his thing is he's saying he applied for permission and they just never mm. answered him one way or the other. So it's like something seems kind of weird like that, you know, maybe it's like held up in the bureaucracy or what. But I still think it's kind of crazy that they have an unfair that there's special rules for some people. Some people have to apply for permission and some don't. I think either you don't you don't have beards and everybody who wants to have one has to apply for permission. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think some people in the live chat are missing the point. Okay, so I say just saying, why should he be uh, an exception though? Just because you had been doing something for years does not make it acceptable. This is asking for privilege. We're not saying it should be acceptable. We're just we're just coming up with hypotheses on the intentions of the people behind it. We think it shouldn't be an exception. It should have never been an exception, and the rules should have applied equally to everybody at all times. But the fact that they allowed this with Sikhs, and only they're doing this now after 25 years, and they're not allowing it to Muslims, makes us think like, even though yeah, the rules should be applied to everybody, it's just making us guessing the intentions behind enforcing this now. That's what we're saying. Again, Qasem also doesn't get it. We're Qasem's sensing a pattern here. Yes, okay. You could, you could apply the rules as you should, but we could, the timing of it and the context of it and the selectiveness of it makes us coming up. And the lack of due some, process. Yeah, the lack of due process makes us come up with some guesses about your intentions. Qasim saying, uh, if he knew the rules, he, uh, the poli he can't blame police. And we're, well, again, he can't, we can't blame the police if the intentions, the intentions do matter, people. The intentions do matter. And again, we already I already answered this, okay? Um, no, Qasim, you don't get it. We are saying the rules are rules. Yeah, the rules are rules. The rules should have been applied since the beginning, and the rules should be applied to the Sikh as well. Again, the selectiveness of it and the timing of it makes us guess the intentions behind the police. How come Qasim? Qasim, why don't you get what we're saying? Um, all right. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but if there are people like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 